What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the World War History Bar. Hope you all having a great day. In today's video, we continue and finish our look at some of the exhibits here at the National Museum of the United States Air Force. If you missed our last uh, video, we were over in the pre-war and World War II areas of the museum. It was a great video. Definitely check it out. We'll link it in the description. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Vietnam era of the museum, which is really really cool um let us know in the comment section below which plane in the vietnam era was your favorite because we're very curious on that uh anything to add to it chase let's get started all right let's get going We're coming up here. Chase, take it away. What do we got here? What we have is a gear for the UH-1 Huey, the most iconic and probably the greatest helicopter ever invented. Um, all these carried troops to Vietnam, Marines, Army men, and it had a lot of guns on it. It had a minigun on it. It had some normal um, M16 machine guns. It made a distinctive sound when you heard it. It's the Huey. Force E Phantom. The F4 is probably the scariest aircraft we've ever made, in my opinion. So carried a lot of missiles. Initial models had no guns, but this thing engaged in dogfights against North Vietnamese an awful lot. Sometimes some uh, Russians as well. And big scary thing, it had J79 turbo jets in it. This thing could go twice the speed of sound. This thing was a fast sound bitch. And a lot of ammo on it, so very heavily armed, very freaking fast, very scary. <laughs> Little distinction, uh, this is the same F-4 Phantom that Robin Olds flew. And Robin Olds served in all three major conflicts, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. Man's a legend. guys so we're coming over here to this area that kind of has a bunch of the uh, you know the light infantry weapons except for this guy uh the, the gauge v100 commando is definitely not light it's anything but light that is wow that is pretty cool there's so much stuff over here like you can see right here you have a vietnamese uniform Sorry about the glare, it's kind of hard to to get yeah, good shots. But over here, some really cool stuff. Got an AK-47, the RPG, one of the RPG rounds. Uh, and the Chinese Type 56 carbine. And then over here, the, uh, K, the K-50M. It's a Russian uh, submachine gun. I think it's the uh, better version of the uh, PPSH. And then here, this is really interesting. This is a homemade Viet Cong gun. You can tell it's really just a slap together thing. All right, we're looking at this right here. A large rocket. Look at this. Look at the size of this thing. This one right here. I've always wanted to shoot an SPS because look at it. Yeah, honestly, that'd be really cool to shoot as well. It's probably my favorite, like, Vietnam War weapon. Yeah. Favorite World War II weapon's kind of a matter of how I'm feeling in a day. Yeah. Uh -huh. it, it's very hard for me to pick one. <laughs> what we have over here. So, I guess we could start over here, actually. Yeah. There's a original M16, one of the first ones made. Iconic Vietnam War weapon. We have one with a grenade launcher, with a carbine, super short, with one of the greatest grenade launchers ever made, M79. And then we have a M21, which is an M14 modified with a giant sniper scope on it. Very interesting stuff. Alright guys, so he, he had to do this. They have a cockpit that you can get into. This is... No, it's like Top Gun. Here, give us a view from the inside, Chase. 
So that's what you can see from the inside. That's what it kind of looks like. Bro, it's like Top Gun, right? Yeah. It's like Top Gun. <laughs> no, it's like Winger Pro. Really cool. I'm getting it next, Chase. <laughs> no. All right, guys. POV from inside the cockpit. This is this is cool. Go no, no, fighter, fighter! Ah. This is cool. It's recording, by the way, so you know. <laughs> Yeah. There you go. That is sick. That is sick. Alright guys, that is gonna end the video today. It was a very quick look at the Vietnam section. <laughs> Sorry for the background uh, noise. It's Easter here, they have a band playing right now, but uh yeah, it's quite loud, but if you guys did enjoy that video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any new episodes we post here on the channel. And again, let us know in the comments below what is your favorite model of plane because we're very curious. What would you say yours is? Fam. Fam. Good to know. All right, guys. We are going to see you in the next video.